Hey guys, what's up? Balatorial here, and today I've got a review for you guys. This is going to be on the Swix Terra, and it's going to be a two part review. First, I'm going to show you guys the clip from when I first got it and uh, flipped it for about a week, and my impressions there. And then I'm going to come back at the end and uh, give you guys a two month summary and how it's been holding up and what I like about it right now. So, yeah, let's send it back to past Balatorial and. Uh, See you guys later. Alrighty, so I know a lot of you guys just want to hear the positives, the negatives, and like just my my opinions on it. So here we go. The biggest positives for me, and I noticed this right away, is how light and easy it is to flip. So all tricks, well, like a lot of tricks that usually feel kind of heavy, say if you're just learning the uh, choker fan, like that that would be kind of heavy for your ring finger this is great to learn that on because it's so light it feels very light compared to the zephyr when i first got it i was like oh this is just gonna be a discount zephyr but it actually flips very differently and even being like you could say it's its little brother it does some things better than the zephyr and some things worse so then we have the great tolerances this being on the same bushing system as the 4.5 which swix spent a lot of money developing so it's always solid like this and never has an undersized oversized bushing it is so good like it's so worth the money he spent and uh, this running on that same system is just great i haven't tightened it or oiled it since i got it so yeah we got still no top obviously here's the play situation pretty much the same as out of the box and you can see this is pretty scuffed up now this is after a couple of tolerance tests or uh, drop tests so this has been dropped probably close to like 30 or 40 50 times maybe now yeah next point is the attention to detail if you just look around this whole valley uh swix knows what he's doing being experienced in the game with the zephyr this is basically uh, the same like setup as a zephyr but then made easier so or like simpler so what i mean by attention to details is how all of this is like flush how the zen pin the zen nipple doesn't pinch you how everything just looks really good and there's no parts where you're like oh wow he didn't think of this yeah and of course the last positive being that it beats out things in its price point so this is 140 dollars i believe and uh, anodized or not anodized whatever um, and uh, for what you get at that price point, pretty much nothing has bushings. Um, if you're looking at a Triton or uh, even a Squid Trainer, which costs slightly more, it doesn't have bushings. It has the same 6061 aluminium. And uh, yeah, this is definitely just a better product at the price point. So that's the last positive. And then we have some negatives. Uh, first negative being the slippery handles. Uh, there's no like point around this. These handles are like brushed aluminium or something. Um, this one is coated, obviously anodized, but it's kind of slippery. It does tend to fall out sometimes. And um, like right now outside, my hands are like kind of clammy, but not too clammy. So that's the perfect. Uh, that's the perfect like balance for this knife because uh, if your hands are completely dry you'll be slipping and if your hands are very wet like if you drop this in snow uh, also you'll be slipping all over the place uh, on the same fact or the same point another negative is the handle material obviously to save money this is 6061 aluminium as i mentioned and uh, it doesn't hold up as well as the 70 whatever like the other one that's on the zephyr there's some neutral things that i'd like to go over like the design i would put this in positive but i guess it's like uh, subjective so i would say this is a really cool sleek minimalistic design um really nice to look at just basic not too scary nothing nothing like that wow that was an eagle what the fuck cool um then the next one it has a ring so If you can't hear it right now because it's not oiled and tuned and like yeah i'm pretty sure you can hear that but if not i'll put in uh, a sound test uh so that ring 
could be cool. It's kind of, it's very low key. It's not like the squid trainer ring. Um, so it's not as annoying. It's not like the gale ring either, but it, it, it's kind of ringy. So if you're flipping around people, that might be a negative. If you think it's a cool thing, then that's a positive. Take it as you will. And then the neutral balance on this is also something I would say is, I would say is positive, but um, you might not. It doesn't carry momentum as well as the Zephyr, but it really doesn't need to because it's so light that you can just get it right back. I, I've really been enjoying this belly. I haven't been recording too much the last weeks, but I've been flipping it all the time. And it's actually made me do new stuff. And that's what I really like in a belly. I've been struggling forever to learn backhand fans. Like I still can't do them, but there's a clip. I'll, I think I put it in. Um, where I do one and it just caught me off guard and I was like, oh shit, like This valley is making me evolve as a flipper. So yeah, all in all This is a really good flipper if you're looking for something in this price range or even if you're looking at the Zephyr I would like consider this uh, Depends on what you're using it for if you if you need a beater and you're gonna be dropping this on concrete all the time Go for the Zephyr if you're just gonna be flipping this over a couch or like uh tile or tile floors or say wooden floors then go for this um if you need something more neutral as well like this is a really fun flipper you get a lot of bang for your buck here yeah so after about two months of flipping this is what the damage looks like this has had close to i'd say 150 to 200 drops on really hard surfaces such as concrete mountains uh very rough like rocks and gravel and uh, it's looking like this. The tolerances are still... Tolerances are still great. There's no tap. Here's the play. Uh, I can see that this is the same system as the Zephyr, as I said, because it acts the same. Like, um, when you go to tighten it, if you need to, you can just crank down fully on the pivots and they won't... They won't come loose and they won't stiffen up so it'll have perfect swing and everything still if you're looking for a trainer and really anything in this price point out of what i've tested this is the best you can see some minimal rust spots here on the blade and i'll put in a clip as to why th that is but that won't be a problem on the production models because the blade still fucking bugs landing on me because the blade still has been changed to the same as the zephyr and the gale Right, last thing I really wanted to go over before I'm done with this video is different like aspects of flipping and when, what kind of performance you can expect from the knife. So first off, we got fans. Definitely one of my favorite things to do on this knife. It's so neutrally balanced and just, it just wants to fan. And uh, this is the only knife pretty much that I can do a, a backhand fan on which I couldn't do right there obviously but yeah so that's the first category then we got chaplains chaplains on this not the best I mean as you can see it can fly out if you go too fast something I don't have too much on the Zephyr since it has so much rear bias uh, so so it's pretty good but as you can see it does tend to fly out sometimes um, then we got rollovers rollovers on this thing is pretty much what i was doing the first weeks i even have a clip where i just say that if you get this you're just going to be doing tons of rollover combinations just hit my other hand and uh, like twirls stuff like that because it's so light and your fingers just automatically go to it or mine do at least then we got aerials being as it has perfect swing Aerials are really effortless. Once you have the balance down, both aerials and even parabolics, which I'm not too good at, are really fun and predictable. So that's that's a good part. I kind of forgot to show you guys ladders, but let's try a quick infinity, infinity ladder here. See how that goes. It's kind of cheating. It's like a ladder machine since it's so um, lightweight. So that answered this that question. So these are dropping tomorrow and uh, I'll have a link below and I'll also have a promo code, which is BALI, just B-A-L-I, all caps. 
and that gives you free shipping so that gives you free shipping and also you're supporting me at the same time if you're not going to use that code that's fine use somebody else's code so you guys can like help yourselves and help somebody else at the same time oh yeah if you're planning on getting this and beating it like i am here i would get the silver version i've had silver aluminium bellies before like my first zephyr and uh, the damage doesn't look as bad as it does on something like this because it's anodized and you see the silver peeking through but besides that that's pretty much it to be fair hope you guys have had some help for this review like hope it helped you guys hope it helps you make your mind up and uh, let me know if i can answer any questions and i'll see you guys in the next one fucking check that shit.